All right. Hello, 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 and welcome to another show of the Live with Naz. An hour of laughter and encouragement coming to you from Corona, California. Let's see. I'm trying to get Facebook to comply. Come on. Come on, please. Hello. Facebook. Okay, log in. We did log in. Okay, we put that. I can't do that every time. This is ridiculous. Cookie crunch. Okay. Hello. Here we go. Did you? Okay. I did. Okay. Continue. Are you serious? Okay, I can't connect. Sorry. Sorry, people. I'm trying to connect here. I'm trying to connect, but it's not letting me. Okay. I don't know what to do. I hope you guys are watching. Okay, let's do this again. Facebook. Log in. Okay, I'm going to do this. Hold on. Okay, let's try this. Let's try this, people. Okay. 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 And let's do this. Here we go. Okay. Come on. Come on, baby. Here we go. Oh, shoot. Oh, don't do that, please. Please don't. Please don't. Here we go. I think we're on. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Live. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. I think you guys can see me for now and have noticed the pain I've been going through. Early beauty break before we start. So maybe now nice. you're there. I am here. I just had to fix... Facebook, Rita, Sarah, how are you? Becky Ottenberry, how are you? Jennifer from Wisconsin, how are you? I guess we didn't talk while Naz is still hiding. No way, there he is. I am here. Alan Goodwin, how are you? Dave Ebert from St. Louis en route to Dallas. Oh, we'll have a safe travel. Chris Martel, hello. Debbie Malone, he was hiding his gold. <laughs> My gold teeth, yeah. I just ate ice cream with Cookie Crunch. Oh, thank you. We're starting the show. Is that the passcode? Sounds yummy. Cookie Crunch. Oh, why? <laughs> I was saying the. Oh, I was saying my, my password loud. Well, it has numbers next to it, so keep trying. Is that that's great. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> okay, let's see. Did you say Cookie Crunch? Stop it, people. That's my password. One of my passwords, but it has numbers next to it. In different languages, and that is one. Is on the streets downtown. Hello, hello, hello. Neil, how are you? We missed you, man. Can you see me? Yes, I can. Pancho, my beloved, how are you? Prayer for all. Thank you. Facebook hates us. Yeah. Sarah, well, I guess we could just hang out. Oh, I'm here. I'm here, people. Yep. If Facebook be nice to that. Thank you. They did. Come on over. Hello, TikTokers. Yes, how are you? Wow, we got a lot of TikTokers joining. How are you? Did you guys know my, one of my posts on TikTok got 98.8 thousand views, so close to 100,000, which is, I've been waiting for, for that one, because I have one with 8.4 million, that was just boom, it happened, 
this one it was God trying to to tell my kids to stop telling me not to start TikTok. And uh, I don't know my past. <laughs> hey, Grace. Happy Yom Kippur to you. You know, shalom. All righty. Let's see who is joining us. Tony, Ms. everybody. Okay. Okay. Let's start the show. Welcome. Thank you all for joining all 135 people. Uh, l today is show number 475. That's almost in 25 shows. We'll have 500 shows, people. Uh, I was just writing this this morning. This is all, you know, first try. So whatever you read is just the first time I ever wrote it. Some people go crazy with being environmentally conscious. That explains why we have the word mental in environmental. Did you notice that? There's a word mental. So when people go crazy with the word environmental, the mental comes out and, you know, attacks them. So, you know what? I recycle. You know what? I recycle. I do. And then I take the recycling bottles. I take them to the recycling center. They give me money, cash. I give it to a homeless person. That's what I do with that money. I give it to a homeless person. He goes buy cigarettes with it. I know that. He smokes the cigarettes. The CO2 go into the ozone layer. It makes the earth warmer. I get hotter. I start drinking water. And then I take those plastic bottles, take them to the recycling center, get the cash, give it to the homeless guy. He buys cigarettes with it. He starts smoking. The CO2 goes up to the ozone. The earth gets warmer. I get hotter. I drink more water. I recycle more. I make more money. The guy buys more cigarettes. And the cycle continues. <laughs> all, right. Oh, all right, let's see. I barbecue. I use wood. I used to barbecue using charcoal. Now I use charcuterie, charcuterie board. Have you seen? Anybody has done a charcuterie board? This is a new thing. This, uh, my mom didn't know charcuterie board. My grandparents, they, they had plates. They had small plates. As you read in my yesterday post, I said, you know what? Charcuterie is a French word that means we don't have small plates left. That's what they do. They just throw stuff in there. It's like a pizza topping. You know, I'm glad you can't go to a, a restaurant and order the charcuterie board one item at a time. Because they put all this stuff, cheeses, junk, cholesterol. It's like they should call it a cholesterol board. That's what it is. It's everything that gives you cholesterol. It's pepperoni, it's cheese, it's olives, everything that can give you cholesterol. And, and then they add grapes and honey and anything that give you diabetes. It's just they should call it, you know, medical board. That's what it is. It's a, it's a, I'm going to kill you. This is big pharma board. That's what it is. You'd like some big pharma stuff? Eat this now. Anyway, uh, <laughs> uh not new, just now fancy and in. Okay, yeah, it's not new. You know, the actual name for a charcuterie board is actually, it's a French word. It means the pork butcher. That's what the pork butchers, they call the charcuterie board. Uh, you know, my daughter was the first one. He said, Dad, we need to, to make a charcuterie board. I'm like, speak English, we're in America now. Okay? I don't use anything with char or char... It's a lazy person idea of appetizers. You know, that's it. Anyway, so this is, let's see. Hello, Sophia Law, our, our, our nurse from Toledo. How are you, young lady? We missed you. I rode a bike once. I have never recycled. <laughs> Hello, Michelle. Michelle from Oklahoma, Tulsa. A few days off from work. So happy to see everyone. Well, we're so happy to see you. Oh, no, bring new meaning to the term mental, environmental. Happy, it's a vicious cycle. <laughs> nah. Oh, it's not a new thing, it's a platter of food. Sure, and so, a.k.a. serving dish. All right, let's see. This is called topas. Uh, actually, in Spanish, it's tapas. Tapas is like appetizers. Here in Florida, plenty, wood everywhere. I am made... It's very easy to get wood. Hey, Meldrick, how are you? Are you guys safe in Florida? Rochelle. Hello, Rochelle. 
Wow, just like fondue and now charcuterie board, we're getting charged for what used to be peasant food. You're right, Sarah. It's peasant food. Okay, olives, figs, dates, fruit cheese, and mixed processed meat. Yep, it's all cholesterol and sugar, people. All right, last night I asked you the question. Give me the worst name for a check cashing, a check cashing business. Worst name for a check cashing business. And let's see. Okay, on TikTok, if you didn't get the question from yesterday, you can answer it now. Worst name for a check cashing business. At number 20, we print our own money. At 19, the cheerful giver. At number 18, which set of books are you in? For 17, for richer or poorer, we're richer, you're poorer. At number 16, we sense desperation. At number 15, can't pay today. Uh, 14, rubber, blubber, bouncy, bounce. At number 13, mafia. At number 20, Bonnie and Clyde. Bonnie and Clyde. At number 11, 50-50. Was she skinny? Was Bo Bonnie skinny? Bonnie and Clyde. At number 10, little red rain check. At number 9, we'll even take your gold fillings. <laughs> At number 8, the extortion exchange. At number 7, back alley advances. <laughs> At number 6, always in the red. At number 5, sticky fingers. At number four, regrettable exchange. At number three, cash now, bounce later. At number two, broken legs. At number one, worst name for a check, check cashing business. First child check cashing. First child check cashing. How many likes you want? King Detroit, you give me as many as you want. I would appreciate it. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that. All right, here's your first question for the night, people. Uh, today is National Coffee with a Cop Day. Did you know that? Today is National Coffee with a Cop Day. So tell me, what would you ask a cop if you were having coffee with him? Okay, what? Okay, what would you ask a cop? Okay, let me write the question. Here you go. What would you ask a cop on cop coffee with a cop day okay what would you ask a cop on coffee with a cop day let's see time to eat snack time with naz all right jennifer i feel like charcuterie board is like lunchables for adults but more expensive that's funny drum roll let's see I'm a doctor. Don't I give any love? Hey, doc. <laughs> Hope you're feeling better. Or oh, yes, we're Mr. the Rochelle jokes. Hey, I landed a few on the list. You did. Yesterday, you and Pastor uh, David McLaughlin were just really um, answering. Sorry, Meldrick. What would you ask a cop? Where's the donuts? <laughs> Would you rather do donuts or eat them? <laughs> hey, officer, will you please take a sip at the same time I do? <laughs> oh. How can I roll down my window when they are power windows? <laughs> you deserve one. Okay. Rita is so funny, people. All right. It's 8.45. It's actually, it's 8.47, but... If you're new with us, this is when we hydrate and share. Hydrate and share. Oh, that's good. That's cold water. Invisible cold water. Why are you giving me a ticket for? I just got you a donut and a coffee, Dunkin' Donuts. Mom, do you want a hot tea instead? What? Oh, it's your, is your mom a cop? Is your ideal mug a donut? Cream or sugar or both? But why the handcuffs? <laughs> Where's the best place to get a great gluten-free donut? Come on, guys. We can do better than that. Come on. You're, you're professional comedy writers 475. Not 101. You're 
475 shows with you people. Let's do this. Can I teach someone like him and point at my husband? <laughs> you buying? Okay. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Why did the cop cross the road? Because he could smell the donuts from the other side. Hi, Crystal. How are you? Welcome back. Our Canadian friend. We have all our friends, Sophia Law and uh, Crystal. I'm looking for Art and, of course, uh, Brent and... Uh, and Audra, I haven't seen them for a while. Are you having a bad day? <laughs> I hate my phones. While you're drinking your coffee, can I talk on your walkie-talkie? 11.47 p.m. in Florida. All right. Well, thank you for staying up, Mr. Mildrick. Do you know how fast I was going? Because it's a mystery to me. <laughs> hey, Chris. Do you believe in Raider love at first sight? <laughs> Get it? Raider, first sight. <laughs> Can I play the Bad Boys theme song and you twirl the cuffs as you go towards my boss? Okay. My speedometer is melted, so no, I don't know how fast I was going. Gabriel says hi. Gabriel? <laughs> Who's Gabriel? <laughs> the angel? Oh, I think you're still the professional comedy writer, you and any of the other comedians on this show. But no, no, you guys qualify now. You've been with me forever. You qualify. Alrighty, let's see. My mom actually asked a cop where the donut shop was. He was not amused. <laughs> Did it hurt when they fell, when you fell from heaven? Because you're an armed angel. Oh, I get it. <laughs> it's an archangel. <laughs> oh, an armed angel. Oh, sweet. I haven't seen you since that episode in America's Most Funnet. Is your safety on? <laughs> Officer, I'm not drunk. My double stroke makes me f walk funny. <laughs> Can I have... Your autograph. No, you don't need to see the top part of the paper. Just sign on the dotted line. That's right. So, tough day at the office, huh? You're having a real Irish cream. I haven't seen John Connor, so please don't ask. Who's John Connor? I, I don't know who John Connor is. Okay. Let's see. Keep them coming, people. Keep them coming. You have more questions for cops. Today is questions day. I'm going to ask. We're going to ask questions. All right. Going once. Can I see your license and registration? Okay. Officer Goose prefers bagels. <laughs> Did you taste this coffee? <laughs> Sean Connery, maybe. Oh. John Connor is a guy from The Terminator. Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't seen The Terminator. I've, I mean, my governor was The Terminator for a while. Are you having a midlife crisis? Oh, the kid from Terminator 2. Hey, do you know my brother? Michael Ramirez is here. Hello, Michael. Do you even like coffee? Is your body cam on? Do I look okay? <laughs> yes, Dolores, you do. Keep your hands where I can see them. You're under arrest for being too handsome. Okay, <laughs> Rochelle's hitting on those cops. I joke around with our officers all the time. True story. Time about M. She got many terracha, terracotta pots and put cosmetic brownies cosmic brownies in the pots then took them some mini cans of coke and root beer dropped them off for the police chief and then when he uh when he was talking to our county sheriff the next day asked if he liked his pot brownies and beer and coke we had to explain it but they understood her sense of humor oh okay 
Many cans of Coke and root beer. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, is this how the espresso, is this how you espresso yourself? Hello, Larkin. Were you the officer who came up with this national day? <laughs> if you were a criminal, what crime would you commit so I know what I can get away with? <laughs> Do you get depresso without your espresso? <laughs> Do you want to know how many kids I have? <laughs> Hello, Catherine. Are you married? If not, Rochelle is available. Yes. I love a man in uniform, especially the man in brown, the UPS guy. <laughs> At least he delivers. Uh, okay, what's the question? The question is, what? what would you ask a cop? It's National Coffee with a Cop Day. So what would you ask a cop? Okay. Oh, on my way home from church, Raul says hi. Thank you. Is this rocket fuel or coffee? I don't want this to shoot right through me. <laughs> okay. Do you know you were going 30 miles per hour in a 25-mile zone, officer? Larkin. The question is, what would you ask a cop on National Coffee with a Cop Day? It is, it is what do you call it? I pinned it, didn't I? Yes, I did. Yes, it's pinned. Okay. My, is this off the record? <laughs> Hey, Amazon uniform is pretty great, too. <laughs> you look like you're having trouble walking with all this gear. Let me hold your gun. <laughs> hey, weren't you one of my kids? Tanner, our youngest cop, youngest cop, used to hang out with friends of M and Christian. He said, yes, ma'am, Ben. <laughs> Mom, do you know how to use that thing? Want to buy me a cup of Joe? Do you know Michael copies every night? <laughs> Don't exceed your two cup limit. That's funny, Becky. Ah, let's see. Hey, no getting any jitters. All right, I think we need to change the question. We're done asking cops. All right, let's see. How are we doing with TikTok? So far, we have how many? Okay. Not many on TikTok tonight, that's fine, because we got 139 people here in beloved Facebook. The second question today is also ask a teacher question day. Today is national ask a teacher question day. I think that's what it is. So. Remember when you were in school, okay, what, if you were in school right now, what, what question, what would you ask your teacher? Let's be funny. Which you are all the time. What would you ask your teacher? Come on. Today is all about asking questions. Okay. Hi, Becky. Aren't you my nephew? Why Newsom isn't in custody? <laughs> Hello, Ellen. By the way, guys, if you... I have two meals or two plates ready if you want to attend the Voice of Refugees Gala on Thursday, October 13th. If you live in California and you want to attend the gala in Placentia, California, message me, you know, and I will reserve. The first two people who do it, first two will get to go. Let me know. All righty. It's a great meal. It's a buffet with, with steak and chicken and everything, cheesecake, appetizers, comedy, and variety act. How far can you run with that gear on? Is there a police officer how to do book? <laughs> Is there a police officer how to do book? Is this a bribe? 
What would you have to stand up by the table and yell, Car 54, where are you? May I please use the bathroom? Am I the reason you retired early? <laughs> That's funny. All right. How did my kids pass your class? I've met them. <laughs> I can say my ABCs. Can you? Can you vote to extend recess to 30 minutes in the morning and evening? <laughs> Why are you going to school in the evening, Becky? Teacher, were you ever arrested over coffee? <laughs> the way I turned out, you should see the principal. <laughs> You're going to make me fly out there for that gala, huh? You would love to have you here. Can you read my rap sheet out loud? I haven't slept in days. <laughs> Bad hair day, huh? <laughs> Please, someone, go to the gala. I would if I could, so please let me live vicari vicariously. Vicar vicariously. What's wrong with me lately? I haven't been speaking much. Live vicariously through you. Uh, why can't I bring my pet to school? Cheesecake Factory Cheesecake? I don't know. It's at the, it's at the country club in Placentia, so it should be good cheesecake. If you were so smart, why do you need an answer sheet to correct the papers? Do you ever have nightmares, teacher? Is there such a thing as a stupid question? It was me. <laughs> that's, that's confession, Neil. That's not asking question. Teacher, have you ever been arrested over coffee? What high school? <laughs> we're, we're in class? Teacher, who is better, the principal or me? <laughs> I have good friends that pastor in Torrance. All right. What is your favorite movie, officer? All right. It's 9 o'clock, people. Another hydrate and share moment. Let's hydrate and let's share. By the way, this Friday night, I will be doing a fundraiser for the, the Pomona Pantry, the big pantry uh, that feeds a lot of people. So I'm doing their gala on Friday night, Saturday early morning. I'm flying to Iowa for two concerts, one at the Hamilton Auditorium in Iowa Falls, I think. And the next one, the next day at 3 p.m. somewhere. In Iowa. I'll figure that out. Look it on my website. People say, you don't remember? No, I try not to remember. I try not to remember. Now, the day of the show or that, when I get on the plane, I remember every little detail about the event. I will remember everything. But to try to remember events a week or two weeks before and have other shows coming up before that, that messes me up. So I don't. John Curtis is here. How are you? John Curtis from Ventura. If you're a teacher and you teach us students, then are you teachable yourself? Good question. How do you count when you run out of toes? What do you do if a student had a crush on you? <laughs> ask, ask Rochelle. <laughs> what is your favorite movie of? Okay. It's 12.01 in Ohio. All right, Larkin. It's also 12.01 for uh, the, our Florida friend, Mr. Ishmael. I'm a visual learner. Would you mind pantomiming <laughs> all of your lessons? Keep him laughing now. Thank you. Teacher, can you teach my parents something? I heard all dogs can't learn anything new. <laughs> Second grader, why do you keep say, saying to read your lips? They are red. <laughs> What was it like before the internet, teacher? Do you use smoke signals? Can we play dodgeball today? <laughs> Sorry about the frog. <laughs> what did you do to it, Rita? Do you think you'll ever pay off your student loans? That's a good question. Where's Bobby Miller tonight? Probably on the beach somewhere. He's going back to work, so maybe that's what happened. Alrighty, people on TikTok, the question is, what 
What question would you ask your teacher? Give me a funny question you would ask your teacher. Alrighty. Hey teacher, why don't you leave those kids alone? Wait, Michael, I heard that one before. <laughs> Is it, uh, uh huh? Okay. It's our. Is it something had to do with Pink Floyd, maybe? Okay, have you had that mole checked? <laughs> Ouch. Oh, Rochelle, that's funny. Do you know the five Ds in dodgeball? My therapist wants to know why you would like fries with that. <laughs> oh, why did you become a substitute teacher? Will will you heat up my lunch in the microwave in the teacher's lounge? That's funny. Michael quoting Pink Floyd. He's copying Pink Floyd. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Michael. Do you ever go to jail, teacher? Did you ever go to jail? Hey, teacher, can you have the school resource officer talk to the principal about bullying? He acts like he owns the place. <laughs> Why... You don't actually believe what the janitor said, do you? <laughs> no. I did not learn a thing. I was focused on your bald spot. <laughs> you guys, I got to share this quickly with you, but don't say anything. Last year on in seventh grade, Tally was uh, doing you know homeschool because of COVID. We didn't know till later till the teacher sent us an email with the letter that Tally sent to them. She sent him a letter saying, listen, I just want you to know that I didn't learn anything in class. You wasted a lot of our time doing things that has nothing to do with what we want to do in our life. I really think you should <laughs> you reconsider your curriculum. <laughs> and really, it was it was really bad. And she sent it to them. And a day later, the teachers just send an email to me and Maha. We just want you to know your daughter wrote this. And we were so embarrassed. I had to write this whole, I am so sorry about this. It wasn't meant. I tried to find a way to, to, to see if there was, if Tally was joking or being funny. She was not. <laughs> so we had to sit with her and say, hey, listen. You can't talk to adults like that. You cannot share everything on your mind. You know what I mean? So anyway, that was funny. <laughs> to me, it was funny. I was laughing later after I <laughs> apologized. <laughs> okay, let's see what else do you... Lily, hi, Lily. Home from a from Bible study. Student, am I in the right class? Teacher, no. This is underwater basket weaving. I, okay, let's see. So what was your GPA in college? I've got doubts about your grades. What's in that paper bag you keep taking swings out of? Swigs, not swings, swigs. Like you don't know, huh? <laughs> who's, tour last, least, who's your least favorite student? Does putting your hair in a piggy tails help you see out? The eye in the back of your head. <laughs> That's right. They all have one. <laughs> Good one, Crystal. Okay, let's see. What? Oh, my word. Yes. Good for her. She was spot on. Oh, my goodness. I know Telly wasn't joking, but that's funny. It was. That's what I thought. Ma didn't think it was funny at all. Did you break? <laughs> nope. Oh, we don't talk about that. One of the agriculture teacher, if Papa bull eats 30 bales of hay and baby bull of papa bull eats 30 bales of hay and baby bull eats 20 bales of hay how many does mama bull eat <laughs> I don't know <laughs> probably 25 do you ever go home <laughs> hey teacher how much are you going to pay me to hide the body kids are honest to a fault yes Hello, Bobby Miller. We were just asking about you. Were you on the beach? What were you doing coming out of the Lone Star Saloon yesterday? <laughs> Got you to read it. 
Sorry about the brownie. <laughs> I could have used Telly's letter for some of my professors. Yep, I can copy and send it. It's it's in my email box. When the rest of us were in the cafeteria eating lunch, I saw you shooting hoops in the gym. All right, let's see. Okay, what time is it? It's 9.08 still, so you want some gummies? Okay, let me change the question on you, but before I do that, let's do the Guinness Book of World Record. Guinness Book of World Record, people, tonight we can do that. Uh-oh, I can't drink yet. It's not 9.15. Sorry. All right. Today, why do you spend so much time in the teacher's lounge? Hey, who was that guy you were having dinner with that wasn't your man? <laughs> you want some gummies? All right. Okay, today is National Apple Betty Day. I don't know who Betty is, but Apple Betty is something good. It's, uh, it's, it's a sweet aroma of apples baked in cinnamon and oats. Yes, if that does not make you hungry, people. Cinnamon with apple and oh, this is good. Okay, here's the question. Guinness Book of World Records. Apple Betty Day, according to 2009 figures from the Food and Agriculture Organization of the UN, the highest consumer of apples, the highest consumers of apples, you know which country, do you, do you, can you guess which country, consumes the most apples per capita? Do you know? I mean, that's not the question, but you can... Uh, you can guess why did Mr. Smith have the same color lipstick on his neck that you're wearing, ma'am? Apple Betty might be related to Betty Crocker. America. Neil said America. Hmm. No. Any other guesses? I bet you will not guess it unless you look it up, which I don't want you to. Which country consumes the most apples per capita? Are you guessing or are you looking it up? <laughs> I hope you're just thinking, thinking hard. Took long enough, huh? England, nope. Washington, nope. Sold, stop it. <laughs> this is not the question yet. Okay, my pastor Raul said he planted a tree in Israel. Wow, good for him. New Zealand, no. Apple, Netherlands. No, England, Germany, nope. I plant apple seeds in Russia. Wow. Holland, Australia, Italy. No, I bet you can't guess it. It's a small country. It's a small, small country. Brazil, Italy, no. Canada, small country. Canada, Canada, Brazil, Kenya. Smaller. Spain, smaller. Australia, smaller. Chile, smaller, I think. The Philippines. Tonga. Iceland. Starts with an M. Kuwait, Japan, Croatia. Starts with an M. New Zealand. Hawaii. Hawaii is not a country. Switzerland. Starts with the letter M, as in Mary. Israel, no. Luxembourg, good job, Pat, but it's not. Paraguay, with an M. Malaysia, no, smaller. Mon Monaco, mm, not smaller, but keep it coming. Malawi, Mantu Manitoba. Madagascar, mm. Malaysia, Jamaica. It's not an M. Mongolia. Morocco. Nope. <laughs> I told you it's hard. Morocco. It's hard. I eat lots of apples, so I'll guess Canada. Jamaica. <laughs> it starts with an M. 
Miller. Now I'm hungry, thanks. Oh, we're all hungry now. Okay. Mexico, no. <laughs> Morocco, Malta. John Ramirez, how are you? Miami. <laughs> That's not a country. Well, maybe it is. Okay, are you give up? Mexico, no. Mer Mer Mercia. Where's Mercia? Mercia Buku. <laughs> Mercy, Marika. Mold Moldova. Close. Madagascar, Malawi, Malaysia. Let's see, Sarah's giving them all. Oh, stop it. Uh, let's see, Marshall Islands. Okay, she, one of the countries. One of the countries in those. Sarah, you can't do that. Montana is not. Poland, Maria Robinson doesn't start. Uh, come on. You know what? It's one of those countries that Sarah put. <laughs> Montana, Poland, Maldives, Mali, uh, Monrovia. That's next to Los Angeles. Um, uh, Maldives, Micronesia, Sarah, one up, Michael C. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> My house, <laughs> Seoul. Okay. Nobody guessed it? Moldova, no. Mozambique, no. Couldn't. Naz, you never said I couldn't list all of them. Oh, okay, you're, you're, okay, Mongolia, barbecue. <laughs> We're really hungry now. Mongolian barbecue. Come on, guess, people. Mongolia, keep it going. People are going back to Sarah's list. Okay, going once. Micronesia. Is that even a country? Going once? Come on. <laughs> you guys are funny. Malibu. <laughs> McDonald. <laughs> See, that's funny. Now think about the question of the teacher, Mama Bull. Okay, Moldova, Malta. Can't guess. Don't get out much. Benelope says Mer Merica. Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Mozambique, Marshall Islands, Mesopotamia. That's no longer a country, Michael. That's in the Bible. <laughs> you guys, this is funnier than Montebello. No, that's by L.A. Mexico, no. Mamma Mia. <laughs> Monaco. Okay. Monday. <laughs> Mustache. Malaki. Salt. Okay. All right. Can I know Canada. Canada was a name. Gluten. <laughs> Mastro's. That's a restaurant. Go, Michael. Okay. It's time to hydrate and share salt. Montana. Monopoly. <laughs> All 141 people hydrate and share. Maine, okay. All right. The country is, people, the country is Montenegro. Montenegro was an average annual, con you know, is the number one country in 2009 to be the biggest consumer of apples per capita. No, not monkeys, Rochelle. Not macaroni, Sarah. Not Michelin. That's the tire. Hmm. If you eat a lot of apples, you can look like the Michelin guy. Ma Manatee, no. Mabruk. <laughs> Mozambique, no, it's Montenegro. Montenegro, I don't know where it's Mont... Yep, that is it, Michelle Van Dusen. Not Serbia, trust me. Markison. <laughs> Mousetrap. <laughs> I love it, you guys are so funny. Okay, here's the question now. Okay. What their average annual consumption? How many? How many pounds? How many pounds did they consume? Over one pound, under five hundred pounds. Over one pound, under five hundred pounds. 
Yeah, we need a new record back here at the Momo, <laughs> my tummy. <laughs> you guys are so funny. This is funny. Is it near the... Oh, it is near the Adriatic Sea. Oh, okay. Mustache on Naz. Okay, let's see. 666. No, it's under 500. It's 359 for grades. Now we're stuck on the letter M. <laughs> <laughs> like an episode of Sesame Street. Land. What kind of apples do they grow? I have no clue, John. I know they eat all the kind of apples, I think. Is this per person or the whole country? The whole, Per capita. Per capita means, I think, per person. 375, 475, and 325. Let me see for Michelle. Jennifer, 37, 375, and 297. Marie Rangel, how are you? Welcome, 101. What was the range? Over a pound, under 500. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. <laughs> Used to be Serbia and Montenegro. It is still Montenegro. 210, 355, and 427 for Matthew. 2000, no, under 500. 17, 89, and 316 for Dolores. 222, 333, and 444 for Becky Ottenberry. Sophia, 214, 380, 490. Bobby Miller, 255, 395, 455. Becky Vos, hello, 476, 222, 321. V-I-5, let's see, 100, 500, no, 400, and stop it, regress. I don't speak French or Latin. One mile, 345, 222. Montezuma's Revenge. 37, 107, and 207. Okay, Milky Way. 277, 377, 477. Sold. All right. Let's give some people more chances, Lily. Let's see. By the way, Lily, I told you we have two, two seats open, already paid for, for the uh, Voice of Refugees Gala on the 13th of October, Thursday night at 6 p.m. at the Placentia Alta Vista Country Club. 101, 201, and 280 for Marie. Okay, sold. The rooster and ruby, the red hen, love apples and are eating some right now. They, like me, love honey crisp apple. Ooh, 277, 377, 477 for Michael Ramirez. Crystal, 222, 333, and 255. Neil, 145, 201, 187. Michael's Place, sold 56, 256, 389. I was wondering where it was. Yeah, I think it's by uh, the Ardiatic Sea. 357, 472, and 210. All right, got to be careful saying the name of the country club. Alta Vista in Placentia. I'll take them. Okay. Really? Okay, I'll put you down. Two for Lily. I'll find a date. Yes. Okay. We got two for Lily. Not sure what's going on. My phone keeps freezing. All right. Going once, going twice, and sold. Montenegro, which was the largest consumer of apples, they consume 119 pounds per capita. So Sarah, Vo uh, Sarah Voth is the only one who came close with 107. Therefore, she gets to enjoy this beautiful toilet paper. Congratulations, Sarah. Enjoy this toilet paper. It's fluffy, and it's been a while since you won, so well-deserved. Thank you so much. All righty. It is time for... All right, it's time for your prayer request. If anybody has a prayer that needs a prayer, wants a prayer, we'll pray for you tonight, tomorrow, whenever, but not on the show. But we will take your prayer request right now. So if you need prayer, please give it to us and we'll pray for you. 
pray for this weekend. I'm going to give, uh, after my show, of course, I'll be able to share the good news and people get to respond. So please pray for that. All 144 people. As the bill stole, you and you got a full roll, right? Who came in the door? Nobody. It's a church thing. Is that Angel Soft? I think it's Charmin. <laughs> At long last, she won. Okay, prayers. Let's see. Anybody need? If I sing Johnny Appleseed, when I eat apple seed, will the apple tree still grow in my tummy? Yes, it will. My marriage and family, we will be praying for that, Neil. Please pray for Neil, his marriage and his family. Praying for Apple Betty, stop it. <laughs> and spoken for me and praying for Naz's gig. Thank you. Yes. My hub is ankle. Continue to heal from the break. Amen. Prayers lifted. Don't squeeze the charm. <laughs> All right. Praise Abba. We found an alternative meds doctor. And mom's health. Foot swelling. All right. And happy Yom Kippur to you, Grace. Folks back east, yes, for Florida and what they're going through. Amen. Good night, Catherine. The people who were affected by Hurricane Ian, that's right. Pray for me since my double stroke in June 5th. I'm having trouble. We'll be praying for you, Meldrick. Prayers. Pray for us as we're still waiting on God's plan for us. Amen, Matthew. Matthew and Jennifer and praying for M's job. Pray for the family in Bend, Oregon. For Aaron, uh, Jen, uh, Remy, and Stella. Keep them in your prayers. Please pray for my uncle. Lori Joe Acosta. Okay. Walter, he is dying of cancer. Oh, I wish for him to accept the Lord before he passes on. Lord Jesus, we pray for, for Walter that he would receive you. God, you can do miracles in those last seconds of someone's life. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, you know, uh, a friend of mine, uh, a cardiologist, uh, Dr. Mark Sheehan, wrote a book called uh, uh, Prayer on Holy Grounds, which is for when patients are in the last minutes of their life how God intervenes and they get to to pray and accept the Lord in those last minutes. It's a good book to read by Dr. Mark Sheehan. Prayers for your family. Enter is wiggling out, so I'm going to say good night. Good night, Sarah. Congratulations. See you tomorrow. I'm not sure, depending, because I'm flying Friday. Saturday and Sunday I'm gone. So whatever Tally wants, if Tally needs time with me, she's going to get it tomorrow. So that's if she has to go do horses and she's tired, I will do the show. I'm sorry I'm not being able to give you guys exact like, oh, this is this week we're going to be on. Uh, complete healing and recovery for June's dad. Hot dog from his heart bypass. Ooh. Unspoken prayer for Bobby. Prayer for him to accept Christ. Pray for depression. I'm doing everything I can to stop it but feeling overwhelmed with life. You know what? I was listening to a brain physician. He was talking about just doing the natural stuff. First of all, you go to the doctor and you check for a thyroid. You check for all these other things. But then a lot of times just eating healthy, meditating on the Lord, prayer time, quiet time, do this, uh, what do you call it? The, the 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 breathing exercises I do those every morning. They make a difference in your energy. There's all these things that will get you stop thinking about. I'm not a physician. I'm not a therapist. I'm not giving any recommendation. But I'm saying what I've been reading and what they say when when anxiety comes, when you're fearful, write write it down and look at it, and you'll find out it's silly. Don't keep thinking about it. Just move your thinking. Things don't always get worse. They get better a lot of times. Read my book, Hope in 24 Hours. I'll send you a PDF for free if you, if you don't have it. You haven't read it. Things can change for the better. Yes, praying, praying. 
Yes, check your vitamins, then fill up with scripture and comedy. Turn off the news. Amen. Family time is important. I'm totally understand that. Thank you, Bobby. My counselor had me read and reread Philippians 4. Rejoice in the Lord always against. I say rejoice in all things by prayer and supplication. Make your requests known to God. And the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your heart and mind through Christ Jesus. Amen. Please send me the BTF. I will. All right. Just message me your email. I'll send it to you. An apple a day keeps the doctor away, but I'd rather rely on the great physician. Amen, John. Good night, guys. Love you all. Thank you so much for a fun night and laughter. We'll see you again maybe tomorrow, maybe next Monday. Love you. And God bless.